It's all of the biggest entertainment stories coming up next, right here on Tea Time. Hello there and welcome to the program. I'm Tekumbo Tairu. Lakwe Banjo and Ife Oshinkeya, my regular co-anchors, are also here to discuss the most up-to-date entertainment stories uh, that are on the planet. Hi, guys. Hi, Tokumbo. Hi, Tokumbo. Hi. Uh, the first story on Afternoon Tea Time is this one on Burner Boy. The Afrobook singer's streaming numbers are going up, many thanks to Kanye West. So how is this possible? <laughs> well, basically, Kanye West has just released an album called Ye. Mm -hmm. Are we agreeing on Ye? Yee. 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 Anyway, Kanye West has re released an album called Yee. Anyone, it could be Yee, it could be Yee. Yee, whichever. But the point is, Burna Boy also has a song called Yee, like when you fall over and people yeah, say Yee. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, but you've had boy. your two minutes of <laughs> Anyway, right, so he's had, um, he, that song's also out. Mm -hmm. But Kanye West's songs has come out after um, Burner Boys. So a lot of people are trying to stream Kanye West's new album, which, by the way, is amazing. Mm -hmm. um, and so I now so people too. are actually coming across with Burner Boys' song. So it's a bit like they've just found this undercover artist that they've never heard about. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people globally are listening to it and love the song. And actually, instead of going to find Kanye West's album, they're bumping into Burner Boys and, and loving it. So it is really, really helping him globally. Yeah. Okay. If I'd like you to say something regarding this uh, yay or ye, you know, correct us if we're wrong and then, you know, give... No, no, he doesn't. <laughs> as in the truth is, you could yeah. call it yay. You uh -huh. can call it ye. It's Kanye, so you could call him ye. Mm -hmm. And then the... So where does ye come from? Yeezy. It's also easy. No, but you were saying something about the Bible, though. I thought... Yeah, so when they asked Kanye why mm -hmm. he named his album Ye, mm -hmm. it was like, that's like the... What the Bible refers to the first person as, like, ye. Like, when you want to refer to yourself. No, that's they. O ye of little faith. Oh, well, then Kanye must be wrong. Yeah, Kanye is wrong. <laughs> no, 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 so, I no, think, ye. but regardless of him being right or wrong, the yeah. pronunciation in the Bible is ye. Yeah, ye. ye. So I and think that's what he was like referring to. It's a reflection to. of everyone. So when he says ye, mm -hmm. it's like it's the reflection of everyone. Okay, so that's true. That's, yeah. what, that, that's what ye yeah. means. Okay. Yeah. So that was why he named his album ye. That makes sense. Because it's reflecting for everyone. Okay. Oh, so. interesting. So back to this um, story. So that's why we could call it ye, right? Ye. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, don't push it, if <laughs> yeah. um, So back to the, the story. Um, Burner Boy, yeah, he must be very pleased because I, I saw something online regarding yeah, him saying 200% yeah. that yeah. figures have gone up 200%. He bloody well needs it at the moment. <laughs> yeah. So it's probably helping his career a lot more. I, yeah. yeah. I totally disagree because it didn't need Kanye for the album to go crazy. That wasn't the we, question. We all knew that that... No, I'm, we're not talking about the question now. You were like, it needs it. Like mm -hmm. it needed well, yeah, it's, but he's benefited from it. He can't say he hasn't because okay. if yeah, he hadn't, he, has, he wouldn't but have But it's not like that. it needs it because the album was already doing well at least yeah. everybody in Nigeria uh, we're all listening yeah, to but yeah but I think internationally what she's yeah, saying is internationally yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. and also I feel like Burn Burner Boy has been underrated for too long yeah mm -hmm. that like that he one. actually needs this global recognition Nation. at this mm -hmm. time like yeah. it's not it's not all about Wizkid and David O there's mm -hmm. actually like mm -hmm. space and room for people like Burner Boy and also on the flip side though I yeah. think um basically buttering my point, buttressing my point that I just made, um, is the fact that Burner Boy has always been good. Um, he's just undiscovered globally. Right. Um, and so this this opportunity means people will actually take him a lot more serious. Yeah, um, so I don't think, yeah, like you said, I don't think he needs it, but it's good for him. Yeah, very good for him. Still. It's really good for him. But, um, uh, yeah. What was going to be your question about the 200%? No, that was it, really, that he just said, it, there wasn't any question, I just said, you know, was referring to the 200. Oh, as well. Sorry. Okay, if it was exaggerated, that's yeah, what I thought. I think I was, yeah, I think I heard you say something like, yeah. no, I think it's just been, it's just a slang, like 200%, you get, like, it's not actually saying it's gone up 200, but he's just saying it's gone up a whole lot more than it was. Okay, so he was talking figuratively, yeah, not, figuratively. you know, not, oh, I, oh, I see. All right, then, uh, let's gauge public reaction to this news saying? item by going to our newsroom to hear from our social media and Analyst Buki November. Buki, over to you. Hi, Tokumbo. Hi, Lakbe. Hi, Ife. So right now, I am very excited for Bonner Boy. I am super excited. It's not been his best year yet. So this is a fresh of breath air, as far as I'm concerned. And his fans are also going crazy. Remember um, during the headies, we mentioned that he was one of the artists who didn't get any awards. And then we didn't know why that was, because he had put out music that was actually very, very good. So I'm very excited for him. I am happy for him. One fan actually says, um, 
He says, I, I was looking for Kanye's new album, so I searched Ye in Apple Music and happened to come across a song called Ye by the same artist at Bonaboy. Listen to the album for, oh, I can't say that part. I was flames, holy, yeah, I can't say that part either. <laughs> but it just shows how excited he was to see a Nigerian rapping and then it just, it's beautiful. Let's check out more comments on social media. You can just search on social media plus TV Africa on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram and get more on the story. That's all from me, Tokumo. Back to you. All right, then, Buki, thanks very much for that quick social media report. Uh, but before we take our next story, we'll take a quick break and we'll be right back. It is not yet over. The Get to Latin Millions promo is still on. 110 people have won up to 65 million Naira already. And you can be one of them as there is 31 million Naira still available to be won. You stand a chance to become a millionaire. All you have to do is walk into a Fidelity Bank near you and open an account with 10,000 Naira or pay in 10,000 Naira to your already existing account and you stand a chance to win 1 million, 2 million and 3 million Naira in the monthly draw. Draw your account to 50,000 Naira and stand a chance to win up to 5 million Naira. That's not all. Lots of consolation prizes like refrigerators and generators to be won. Rush now to the Fidelity Bank near you and start saving for a chance to become a millionaire. And the Fidelity Get A Lot In Millions promo. We're Fidelity. We keep our word. I don't get that lot. God you win. Welcome back. You're watching Tea Time and our next story is on Chris Brown. So on this morning's Tea Time, we brought you the story of Rihanna and the alleged breakup with her billionaire boyfriend. Well, the update on this story is that Chris Brown has now responded to the alleged breakup. Yes. <laughs> Why are you laughing you journalist? Because <laughs> Zakumba has literally just like jumped on the back of this story and he's like, he's responded. Yeah. I wonder what he's responded yeah, but exactly. saying. Exactly. I'm wondering what So you guys are saying he hasn't responded. Well, I think we want to ask you now, what was his response? What was his response? <laughs> <laughs> Since you're the insider, media takeout, please TMZ. So Kubo, mm -hmm. you need to tell us what Chris Brown said. Yeah, what did he say, Kim? Back to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> You've taken my role now. <laughs> so, in uh, fact, what did he say? He didn't say nothing. <laughs> he just he followed. Said nada. He, he just, just followed, followed Rihanna. He's probably going to slide into her DMs after that, you yeah, know? Yeah, probably mm -hmm. then. Maybe she He maybe is one persistent guy. Every yeah. guy should take a leaf out of his brother. All right, though, let's just, you know, get the story right in sequence. So, basically, there was no, um, was no comment whatsoever. It was just. Yeah, if they tell us the story. All right, basically, when I went on social media, I was like, Chris Brown responded to, I was like, whoa, what's this guy going to say? Like, I was, I <laughs> anticipating. I was anticipating, like, then I got there, I started reading, then then I showed one screenshot, I saw Chris Brown's name, I was thinking, oh, is that what he said? And I saw, followed Vivi and Christina Miller, and I was like, what the f <laughs> you like, he hasn't said anything. And like, but he didn't say her. nothing. Did she follow him back? No. No, I don't think so. You well, know, Drake also unfollowed her, and she unfollowed Drake as well. So, really? Yeah. He's so. just in his feelings, as I said earlier. But why this do they do that? Like, if somebody should unfollow me, well, mm -hmm. good radiance to bad rubbish. I don't really care. But uh, from what I picked up on this following and unfollowing, do you think then that she, he, well, Chris Brown was not in support of this relationship with the billionaire? Saudi boyfriend he cares about his feelings. Yeah. That's, that's no, not his feelings. I no, mean, but like he was never in support. Of that's that what I'm saying. Yeah, but that's what I'm so? saying. Like his support does, doesn't even matter. Oh, I see. He's okay. in support exactly. or not. 
But um, I don't think he would have cared. I think he's just being cheeky by following her and just making everyone like us sitting mm -hmm. here talking about the fact that yeah, he's followed he her. Likes to be in the he airlines, likes, yeah. yeah. And also as well, like he knows that Rihanna does still has a soft spot for him. Okay. Um, and we, we discussed this earlier today. Though. I was going to say back to what you said this morning, you know, regarding... Do you they think... will get back together. See, Sorry? it's already happening. That's what I'm yeah, saying, Dad. <laughs> <happening. Yeah. laughs> because because I was saying, do you think yeah. this following might actually lead yeah. to, you know... All he's going to do is just slide in her DMs after. And then they start talking. And they start yeah, talking again. Like, and that's, that's it. it. And then she'll justify the fact that he battered her and then it'll be fine. But you know what? I was like looking to see what was, you know, what was the contention between the, in their relationship and everything. And one of the things that she said is that she, you know, he makes her laugh and that um, she likes him, blah, blah, blah. And that they're not going back to that place where they had been before. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, maybe both of them are paving the way forward for a relationship in the future. Yeah, and Rihanna's no angel. Let's not get that twisted. Yeah, Maybe yeah, she's realised that as well. Yeah, I so, but, but as I said, they will get back together. <laughs> let's see about that. Watch this space. Watch this space. <laughs> let's, let's see about oh. that. So out of all of her relationships, let's, you know, look at Rihanna now. Who do you think, you know, suited her more? Who do you think you're in more support of? Out you know? of Drake, uh, Chris Brown and the Saudi guy. Mm-hmm. Wow. Has wow. she been with anyone else, actually? <laughs> That's a tough one. <laughs> That's a tough one, right? Uh, Who do you think suits her more? I'll still go with Chris Brown, man. Chris Brown, they same. Together. They look I, good together. I, I, I think I shouldn't have asked you, actually. Yeah. I could tell, you know, Chris, Chris Brown. Brown. I think but if I'm a bit surprised that you're saying Chris Brown. Yeah. No, 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 no. The truth is, out of all of them, yeah. yes, I'll choose Chris Brown. Okay. I'm not saying it's the best for her, but mm -hmm. they look good together. They have the same type of lifestyle. They look they good too crazy. with Drake and even yeah. look good yeah, too yeah, with... And they have, have the, the same, same kind of lifestyle. Yeah. Yeah. Her and Drake have the same kind yeah, of lifestyle. Yeah, so you're no, not saying Drake anything not different. Crazy dude, man. He's not, he's not what? crazy. He's Do you more... know Drake? But I told you I know him. Like He's crazy. Personally? Very. Yeah, he's up for it. Compared to Chris. Yeah. Chris is crazy, I mean. How do you Chris know? Don't... This know guy. Chris. No, I know Chris. You know oh, Drake. Oh, yeah, I know, I know Drake. Chris. You know. Yeah. <laughs> you and, I, and I can tell you for a fact, because I know them both. <laughs> <laughs> and Rihanna as well. Are they exactly. going to get us together? Are they not? Oh, you mean oh. Yeah. Please, don't, don't judge. Don't judge. All right, then. We, you know, we're still talking about this story. And as I, like I was saying, um, out of all of the relationships, who do you think? You know, And you mentioned Chris. But I haven't asked you guys why. Why do you think Chris? And why do you think Chris? I just told the... you the lifestyle. They look good together. Mm -hmm. um, and um, I don't know. I just think they're perfect for each other. Okay, like you think haven't said. Since Chris, yeah. she hasn't been the same. And like in terms of relationships, mm -hmm. obviously success that's a different story, but in terms of relationships, she hasn't really been the same. And what she know that based on the, the information that we have as mm -hmm. as pub, as the public, like I don't think she hasn't ever like mm. nailed the right guy since then. She's kind of been jumping from relationship to relationship. Okay. I also watched her um her intervention that she had with Ayala Van Sant. Right. Where she was literally just breaking down about Chris Brown. Oh. And that's why I said she's no angel, because that yeah. the whole situation was you know, both parties. Okay. But anyway, um, I think with Chris Brown she has a lot of history there. It was her first true love. Mm -hmm. And you know, yeah, I think she's she mm. should get back with All Chris right. Brown. I would have loved to talk more about it, but unfortunately, time won't let us. <laughs> so the next major headline is on Trey Songs. Uh, the American singer, songwriter, rapper and actor is being sued by a Detroit cop over assault. Now, this story took place like two years ago. Yeah, 2016. Yeah, 2016. yeah. and then he got, he served for, for, for this story, uh, for the incident, like uh, for 18 months. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Probation. So, Probation, yeah. So. What's new with this story then? Well, they're trying to take him to court um, to get more money out of him. But okay. his story is quite silly. Mm -hmm. um, so in the middle of his um, concert, uh -huh. he, uh, he specifically asked that he doesn't get cut off. Um, and they cut off anyway because the venue has a certain time. So he went over that and they cut him off. Um, in annoyance, he threw his mic into the crowd. Unfortunately, that hit um, one of the designated photographers on the head. I don't know how the mic hit him on the head <laughs> and then he landed face first on the concrete floor. And like you were saying earlier, he didn't see the mic coming. Yeah, did you not yeah. see something like <laughs> coming yeah. towards you? Anyway, okay. yeah. um, he fell on the floor and then later on the police, the Detroit police went into it's Trey's changing, changing room. room to go and like basically arrest him on suspicions of assault. Um, and he obviously resisted arrest, got into an altercation with the policemen, and then that led to him having another charge, which mm -hmm. is obviously, I think he's got a felony and a misdemeanor on yeah. a police officer, right. which is a really big deal in America. You yeah. can't attack or kill police officers mm -hmm. and, and think you're gonna go scot-free, no way. Um, so, but then he did officially apologize, but the case yeah. continues. Um, 
probably don't know how much they're going to get out of him. They want $75,000 in damages. Yeah, but $75,000. I'm a bit surprised, though, because that's, I would have thought that's a bit low. Yeah, I yeah. thought, I thought yeah, it would have been in the millions. In the millions, yeah. exactly. Because, you know, once they claim damage, they, they also claim for other things yeah, as well. Absolutely. They'll say trauma, blah, blah, yeah, blah. Maybe blah. that's for the damages, $75,000 in okay. damages. Okay. Maybe so, all the claims and all. Yeah, yeah. because yeah. I think it will run in the millions. We, yeah. Yeah. We're yet to sort of it's discover. It's there anyway. If that's just 75 grand for what damage is, mm -hmm. then they'll get compensation and so on. So that will go into the millions. But the conclusion really is that they've really blown this out of proportion. Yeah. Like, it, the statement of How many times has Alameda thrown things into the crowd and dropped the mic and stuff? Does Teddy sue him for damages? And then no, but the thing is, you can't compare the law about... here, though, and the Western law. And like you said, you know, they the respect that they have for the policemen yeah, over yeah, there. Yeah. It's not the same thing over True. here. So we can't really compare. Another thing, they didn't say Trace Crew jumped the cops. As in just Trace songs. Is it not the on same Trace songs yeah. that we know? Yeah. Jumped like Sweet. Four policemen mm -hmm. jumped on one, mm -hmm. started punching like mm -hmm. the story's the inflated. Story is just yeah, no, the thing is, there must be happen. an element of truth because he's actually served his 18 months or whatever. And he's yeah, because he, he also agreed, anything, he had to yeah, agree but he to actually, two counts of disturbing the peace, and he actually admitted yeah. Yeah, which though, was a lower he, charge, yeah, yeah, but he admitted, yeah, on the advice of his lawyer, not of because, course, not because it was guilty. really. Yeah. Yeah. Do you of think there's a conspiracy then between his lawyers and the police? It's just that it's just what's it called, um, you know, his protecting his own image, isn't he? He's mm -hmm. just damage yeah. control. Yeah. Like it, the, and in America, it's easy for you to just accept it and get and move on with it. He's a celebrity at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if he's yeah. got a... And, and then there are some yeah. racial elements to yeah, it because the cops yeah. were saying stuff like they were shouting, um, you white cop, you, you get it. They mm -hmm. were calling them names and all sorts of names. So they're saying it, there was some racial element to his actions and then he was intoxicated as mm -hmm. well. Okay, so, yeah. there's one more thing I wanted to raise because like this um, incident took place two years ago and then, you know, um, I, I'm like, why didn't they sue him earlier? Is now the appropriate time to actually yeah, sue that him? that was a bit strange. I don't know why it's gone. Yeah. I think they were waiting for him to finish serving his sentence mm -hmm. and they would Take sue him. Take him back. Yeah, so yeah but dragging. he finished serving some time back though. Yeah, but this is how this, they do. But this it's all the a time. cut process. That's the, mm -hmm. It's a procedure. Maybe they filed for it like a couple of months ago, and now they got their approval mm -hmm. and all. So that's why they are coming to the public because all those things we just say it like it's so easy. It's not even so easy to go file to sue somebody. It's mm -hmm. not that easy. So it would take months, and I think that is why it took yeah. so long. Yeah. But I personally think, regardless, it's still a long time to then finally sue. But anyway, let's not. Uh, Dilly dally on that. Still to come on afternoon tea time, Tony in Lawani slams a particular follower on social media and files a speaks on baby mamas. That's all coming up right after this break. Thinking of banking in Africa, think Zenith. In today's fast moving, fast changing world, you need a financial partner that understands your unique expectations. A bank with presence in major financial centers across the world. With the enabling platform to facilitate seamlessly, whenever, wherever, however. A bank with best-in-class financial solutions from a superb combination of technology and human touch. For easy, fast and secure banking that creates real value. Turning dreams into reality is now in your hands. People. Technology. Service. Zenith Bank. In your best interest. Welcome back to Tea Time, the program that gets you updated on all of the latest entertainment news. Up next, Tonyin Lawani slams a follower and her kid after she came for Tonyin's son. So, what was the bone of contention here? All right, this one was crazy. We have to give it up to Toy, man. She's the real MVP in this story. <laughs> you like her a lot. No, it's not like I like her. You okay, do. she's my friend's baby mama. You still don't a think son, she's a fashion mogul? A son? <laughs> no, I don't. A <laughs> son is my friend's son, so I know Toy and Lau and to an extent. Oh, yeah. Wonder. Don't you know his son? Yeah. Who? Um, Tony. Oh, no, I don't know who the son is. No. All right. No, it's, it's like a small. But it's, no, it's it's no but sense he's sense laying claim to knowing Tony. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought you would lay claim to oh, knowing. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. It was <laughs> a joke, but it's gone sarcastic. right over your head. Anyway, we'll believe you. Being sarcastic. 
All right, so <laughs> that was that. funny. To come I don't know what to do with you anymore. I'm done. <laughs> no, but it just makes sense as to why you've been really defensive. Uh, no, um, no, I've not been defensive of her, but it's not like I like her so much, anyways. But <laughs> there's nothing wrong with it if you do like her. Just like, admit that's no, she's my friend's baby mama. Yeah, so. you've said that three times. Now. I can't, I can't, I can't. Anyway, it. your point. <laughs> All right, so Tony Lawani is the real MVP in this case. Please, let's bow. No. One, two, ready, go. No, let's okay. come on. Let's bow now. No, let's not, bow. You let's, have to tell let's me. Bow. What I'll tell you. Just bow first, okay, cool. please. Take yeah. a bow. Take One, a bow for two. Tony. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh yes. Oh yes. So why? All right. So Tony Lawani got got trolled on social media. Somebody was trolling a lot. Why would she be letting a five-year-old son wear hair rings and all? And then she went deep into the fans page mm -hmm. and got the fans. Son, a little boy, and he had his middle finger up. <laughs> so, strange, you're a strange, funny, right? too so shame. Like, well, Look at you. You're exactly. Because the fan was telling her that it's so obvious your child will not grow up well. Wow. So she was yeah. like, your child will obviously grow up well. <laughs> Do you get it? Because yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. she found that. I don't know how she found the picture. But why would you have a picture of your son, your little boy, with his middle finger up on social media anyway? And then yet you have the audacity to say something to, to someone about, who's yeah, just wearing like, an earring. Real, who is more irresponsible? Responsible. Exactly. True. Oh. <laughs> you get, so but the thing the is, I have MVP. to still come back to the, you know, to to twin because I'm like, why does she have to bother though? Because for me, I think she's the upper no, hand. Look, a mother, mothers are always defensive of their children. children. If you come at twin Lawani, maybe she won't say anything. But you don't go talking about a little boy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you understand? So I think that that requires a response. Okay. Yeah. If uh, you like talk a, about you're my in child, agreement. Yeah. yeah. No, I do agree. I think people get really, really brave and confident on social media. Media. And mm -hmm. like you shouldn't ever think that it's okay yeah. to talk, talk about, about someone's child, child. Yeah. I mean, especially when you don't pay the child's bills, you don't look after the child, you don't yeah. do anything. So you have no say about how mm -hmm. someone parents their child, really. Mm -hmm. She's not abusing him, what she let him wear yeah. earrings, mm -hmm. big deal. Yeah. Um, and I think, yeah, just a lot of the times on social media, people create this space where they think they can just say anything. What did Drake call it? Twitter fingers, trigger yeah. fingers, mm -hmm. trigger fingers, yeah. They just think that they can say no, things. No, trigger fingers turn into Twitter, Twitter fingers. fingers, yeah, that. Yeah. So I think that people just say too much on social media. And yeah, that was a really good comeback. Yeah, really, very really good, good comeback. comeback. So do you agree she's the MVP? Yeah, but Can I we take that bow again? No. No, but one of the things that um, Tony said on social media was that um, celebrities are humans too. You know, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, I don't know. Well, they are yeah, human too. Yeah, but consider a celebrity. <laughs> Tony Lawani. Like, We're not going to go here again, no, are we? She's a celebrity. Come down now. Tony Lawani is a celebrity. Are you kidding me? Oh, Lawani guys. It's a very hard She's not a household woman. name. So she's not she a has her issues. It's not like I'm not no, saying I'm she, not she doesn't have Okay, do I have she to be has, moderator again? She, she has issues, he, but it doesn't change the I'm fact that she is. We have to move is, on, guys. She's a celebrity. We have she's to move a celebrity. On. She's a celebrity stylist, at least. Give her that. She's a celebrity stylist. Someone that styled David O. All right, guys. You know what? You know how we're going to finalize it. We're going to have a, an exclusive, you know, show. I'm going to get Tony Lawani on the show, and I will tell her to her face. That she's I'm going to get her here, and I'm I'm going to get her here, and I'm going to get Kess here at the same time, baby daddy, and then yeah, and we'll get both of them to talk. Yeah. All so right then. Our final story up. on afternoon tea time is that Files, the Nigerian rapper, has spoken on marriage and baby mamas. So, what is he saying about them, though? Same thing that I thought, they all say. I, I, He's I, not going to get. I thought it was. Going to tell us, like, oh, he's expecting a child. So mm -hmm. um, yeah. I saw, I saw he basically this, said what they all say. Um, oh, I'm not really planning to get married anytime yeah. soon, mm -hmm. um, but I'm not ruling out the, the idea of having children, whether that's married or not married. Mm -hmm. That's all he said. But you really. know the crazy thing? I don't blame the celebrities sometimes because sometimes they are not ready for the child. They don't even want the child. Mm -hmm. But these girls, they are so thirsty to the point that this day... <laughs> Do you think that's what really happens, though, Ife? I'm most times, at least, out of, uh, out of 10 cases... You, six, I, uh, aren't you going to retract you, your... You should have seen in Lacquay's reaction. I'm what? I'm what? Oh, ridiculous. <laughs> Look, this girl... Uh, is it going to be another argument? They are not Good loyal years. and they are thirsty. <laughs> You're doing this on purpose. I'm not you doing are, it on okay, purpose. Okay, you know what? You have to they be fair, Ife. You have to be fair. So you've made your statement. Let her say something. Let's see if she comes but, up with I, I a I don't, yeah, I know, yeah, but let's see if she has a rebuttal, no, first of all. Crazy things. Please, please. Okay, talk, talk. Let's go for it. What, what, no, but it's, it's just <laughs> Like, wait, let me 
hear quickly what it's you've got to say before we let him delve it's deeper. It's laughable, the things that you come out with. Like, so you think that it takes just the woman to push herself on the man? No, that's not what I'm kid. saying. So what Relax. are you saying? What are you Relax. saying? Relax. Look, some of these girls these days, eh? Mm -hmm. Because you're a celebrity, <laughs> it's not like they, oh, they don't know when it gets you're like not this. ready for a child. <laughs> but all of a sudden, they just call you, baby, I'm pregnant, too. Ha! Yes, we did. We did it. I agree. We did it. But wait, we wait, both wait, had wait, an agreement wait, that we're not wait, ready wait, wait, to wait, have kids. Wait, 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 wait. You know this. Mm -hmm. I know this. Then all of a sudden, you're calling my phone up because you want to be, you want to have your 15 minutes of fame. Then you become a baby mama. If I can, I just ask you. No, I know it's this painful is painful because I've seen people that have gone through the same thing. Okay, should I, I give you, this will be too explicit for TV, but yeah. I'll tell you backstage. At some point, sometimes they even be the ones to tell you, no, they're not used for protection. If there, has this happened to you? <laughs> I don't enjoy it when we use protection. I just do set you not up. believe this. <laughs> I'm telling but if you. I have to ask them, has that happened to you before? <laughs> to me? Mm. Has this happened to you before? First of all, I, I don't even care if it's Virgin. Happened. I don't even care. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even care if it's happened to you. But the, what, can I just get something straight? What you're saying right now mm. is that these thirsty women, right? Mm -hmm. Um, are attracted to celebrity men yes. and want to have their babies. Mm -hmm. and, and by doing so, they mm -hmm. sneak their way into the hotel. No. Wait, 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 wait. You take it way to the hotel, another level now. Have sex with them, yeah. right, unprotected, by the way, and then somehow get pregnant. And it's the woman's fault that she's look, pregnant. Look, look. No, no, let's I just, just answer that one first. Is it the woman's just, fault or the man's fault? I just, just want to know. Look, wait, wait, what wait. happens is you have a conversation with this girl, you let them know I'm not ready for a child. And then they will be like, oh, do you think me I'm ready? I'm not ready to now. Then when it gets to let's do the do. <laughs> so, so, and when you're in your school, be do. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you say? Then they will now tell you, uh -huh. I don't like potatoes. It's not nice. Okay, so wait, wait, wait. Using so, okay, okay, so wait. Then so, you now, you know, you're carried away at that moment. You're oh, oh, the, we're in, getting in somewhere the feeling, now. We're getting you're somewhere all there. We haven't got and much time like, left. Babe. <laughs> and while you're there, you'll be telling her, make sure you don't get pregnant too. Make sure they'll be like, no, I'm not ready. I'm not it's ready. Are you okay? <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> Are you normal? <laughs> They'll be like, I'm not Last ready. word, no last way. word, Lakme. Let me give, I've, I've got to give her five that. seconds. Yeah. Lakme, last man. word. He is mad. That's All right, then. Word. On <laughs> that note, that brings us to the end of afternoon tea time. Uh, join us tomorrow for a jolly good episode right. of tea time. <laughs> uh, that will be morning time, that is. Uh, my thanks as always go whoa, to my co-anchors, our production <laughs> team. Uh, until next time, I'm Takumbo Tairu, and I wish you a very good afternoon.